in this video, we're going to use area models to do division when there's a two-digit divisor. Here we have our dividend of 594 and our divisor of 34. For area models, we're going to draw a rectangle to show the area. In this rectangle here, our dividend will be the inside of it, so we need the inside to eventually be 594. However, we will not use the whole piece at one time. Our left side here, our width is going to be 34, and our length will be our quotient. So instead of using 594 right away, let's use big chunks that are friendly with 34. A big chunk that I'm thinking of right away would be 340, because I know 340 times 10 equals, or I'm sorry, 34 times 10 equals 340. And knowing that we used a big chunk is very helpful. So if we have 594, we used up 340 of it, we have 254 left. So now let's use a big chunk of 254. Well, we can no longer use 34 times 10, so let's use something like, I don't know, 34 times 5. If we did 34 times 5, we would know that 4 times 5 is 20, 30 times 5 is 150, so it would be 170. That's a pretty good chunk. Let's take away 170 and see what we have left. So 254 minus 170 would be 84 left. Well, we can no longer use 5 times 34. That's too much. Maybe uh, 2 times 34. So what is 2 times 34? Well, that is... 68 subtract and we'd have 16 left well if we used 68 and we have 16 left we can no longer divide anymore because 16 what we have left is less than our divisor so we're done with the problem we have our width of 10 5 and 2 so our quotient is 17, and we have a remainder of 16. Using area models, you're allowed to use these big friendly chunks of your dividend that you can do some pretty easy mental math with. Thank you for watching my video on area models with two-digit divisors. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel to get more content. Thank you.